Hi, do you want to see a 900 plus question in the EMSAT exam? Let me show you this question. They said, how many different arrangements of the letters in the word contest starts with the two vowels? Now, to solve this problem, let's consider the word contest first. It has seven letters in total, with two vowels, O and E, and five consonants, C, N, T, S, and T. Look at T, it's repeated twice, right? Now, for an arrangement to start with two vowels, the vowels must be in the first two positions. Then, we have five remaining positions for the remaining five letters. We have two vowels to choose for the first position, and one vowel remaining for the second position. Now, after placing the vowels in the first two positions, we have five remaining letters to arrange in the remaining five positions. So, look at that. If T is not repeated, in this case, the total number of arrangements, starting with the two vowels, is 2 times 1 times 5 factorial. Why? Because we have 5 letters. But since the 5 letters, we have one letter is repeated twice, so we have to divide by 2 factorial. So the answer is going to be 2 times 1 times 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. So if the letter T is repeated 3 times, so we divide by 3 factorial. Or, if you have another letter is repeated also like C, imagine that we have C, C, N, T, T. So, we divide by 2 factorial and divide by 2 factorial again. So, once the letter repeated, count how many times it is repeated and divide by that number. Does it make sense for you? That's good. So, in our case here, the answer is going to be 2 times 1 times 5 factorial over 2 factorial. And you can do it by calculator and you get 240. So therefore, there are 240 different arrangements of the letters of the word context that start with the two vowels. Let's look at another example. Here they are saying, given the probabilities, P of E is equal 0 0.25 and P of E union F is equal to 0 0.64. What is the probability P of F if E and F are mutually exclusive? Now, if events E and F are mutually exclusive, it means that they cannot occur at the same time. In other words, P of E intersection F should be equal to zero. Now, we are given P of E equals 0 0.25 and P of E union F equals 0 0.64. Since E and F are mutually exclusive, then P of E union F is going to be equal to P of E plus P of F. We ignore the P of E intersection F because it's equal to 0. So P of E union F equal to P of E plus P of F. So now we replace P of E union F is equal to 0 0.64 given. P of E is equal 0 0.25. And then we can find P of F. So in this case, we can say P of F is equal to 0 0.64 minus 0 0.25, which is equal to 0 0.39. Therefore, the probability P of F, if events E and F are mutually exclusive, is equal to 0 0.39. I hope you like it. Let's see this question. They said a right circular cylinder and a right circular cone have the same radius and volume. If the cone has a height of 18 centimeters, find the height of the cylinder. Now, let's denote the radius of both the cylinder and the cone as R, given that the volumes are equal, so we have pi R squared H for the cylinder is equal to 1 over 3 pi R squared H for the cone. You can cancel pi R squared by pi R squared from each side because the radius is the same and pi is the same. Then we get the H of the cylinder is equal to 1 over 3 the H of the cone. And given the height of the cone is equal to 18 centimeters, then replace it here and multiply it by 1 over 3, you get 6. This means that the height of the cylinder is 6 centimeters. Do you like it? Now, if you want to see more real MSAT exam questions, like and share this video and subscribe to the channel to receive any updates. Bye for now.